what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to my top five meta loadouts for you to be using in Warzone right now, whether you're playing on Urzikstan or of course Rebirth Island, because honestly, the meta is probably in the best place that it's been in since the launch of Modern Warfare 3. There are so many viable options, but I want to make sure that you're using the best setups possible so you can do as well as you possibly can. And if you are new around here, please take a second, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. But let's hop straight into the first loadout. This is actually what I've been using in ranked play. And if you didn't already know, the Holger 556 actually got a pretty significant buff earlier on this week, which makes it a, an absolute laser beam. It turns it into what is like what the Hemlock was in Modern Warfare 2 and hard hitting, super easy to use um, with this class setup. So you've got the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, the Kairos 6 Match Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support, the 40 Round Mag, and then the Jack Glassless Optic. And if you go into the firing range with it, like you'll be able to see it barely moves a the deviation of the recoil got adjusted and makes it in my opinion one of the best assault rifles in the game right now then we've got the mcw now we had the renetti at the start of season three which dominated the close range meta it was a conversion kit and the mcw sort of went under the radar but the jack raven kit gives this the fastest time to kill with great mobility great damage range and I would really recommend it. And you can kind of combine it with any class setup you want. If you're running a sniper, great sniper support weapon. Or if you just want it as a double assault rifle uh, loadout like this one. But you've got the Zem Compensated Flash Hider, the DR6 Hand Stop, the 40 Round Mag, and then the Quarters Classic Optic to finish it up. And like I said, it's it's just a great all-round assault rifle. I really like this optic as well. It came out with the SOA Subverter um, and kind of reminds me of the red dot sight from COD 4, uh, which was an all-time favorite of mine. But that's the first loadout. Obviously, smoke grenades, throwing knives when I'm playing regular Resurgence, and then I'll swap that throwing knife for a frag grenade if I'm playing ranked play. But Mountaineer, Sleight of Hand, Quick Fix, and High Alert is what I'm currently running. Now, our next loadout is one that might be quite familiar to a lot of you. We've got the SOA Subverter, which is one of the best medium to long range assault rifles in the game right now. It's technically a battle rifle, but you know what I mean. Uh, but Cases Break L, Dozer 90 Long Barrel, the Bruner Heavy Support Grip, the 50 Round Drum, and then the Jack Glassless Optic. Um, the Iron Sight isn't the best for long distance shooting, and obviously... This uh, optic gives you that firing aim stability, which just makes it that much easier to use as well. Really consistent assault rifle, quite similar to the Holger 5.56, but has a slightly larger mag size, but it comes down to personal preference. Both have quite similar TTKs and performance, so just choose what suits best um, for you. Then for SMG, we've still got the number one SMG, the HRM9. This is undisputed, and like really, I can't see anything contending with it unless they make a drastic change. It kind of reminds me a lot of the MP5 from the Vedance days. Uh, but we've got the Zem Compensated Flash Hider, the DR6 Hand Stop, the High Grain Rounds. It's my personal favorite option with it. it. Just makes it feel so much nicer with that extra bullet velocity. The 50 round drum and then the folding stock to wrap it all off. Uh, smoke grenades, frag grenades, pretty much the setup that I have in ranked play. And our next loadout is actually one that I think a lot of people are starting to enjoy. You've got the WSP9, which is a hard hitting SMG. Right, it's got a slower rate of fire. Like when you go and have a look at the uh, the stats for this thing, um, you'll see it's like much lower rate of fire, 599 rounds per minute, but it hits hard. And if you're accurate with it and can slot a single headshot in there, you could just destroy your opposition. Like 54 for a headshot, 46 for the for the chest. Great sniper support because it's got a bit of extra range compared to some of the other SMGs. But Zem Composite Flash Hider, the His Short Light Barrel, DR6 Hand Stop, the 50 Round Mag, uh, and then that Quarters Classic Optic. Um, and then I pair that with the Moors, which I think we can all agree with, right? Let me know if you disagree in the comments, but I think this is the best sniper we've had in Warzone in a very long time. Reminds me a bit about of the Car 98, which is apparently rumored to be coming back. Um, but... Super cool setup for you. You've got the ton heavy barrel, the HVP anti-material slugs. Now this is pretty important, right? Because it increases the damage for each bullet. And now where this might make a big difference, obviously if someone has got full health and fully plated, it will you'll need 300 damage to take someone out and then different damage ranges. But what this does is without it, it's the upper and lower torso damage is below 200. So that means if someone's got full health and a plate on, they'll survive your shot otherwise. But with the HVP anti-material slug, 
you hit them and they've only got one plate in, you're still going to down your opponent, which, like, on Rebirth, actually happens a lot of the time because people are cracked trying to disengage from fights. You'll pick up a lot of, of extra kills with this particular attachment. Then you've got the OP980 grip for ADS and aim walking speed. Um, aim walking speed, no, sorry. Quick bolt, so rechambering speed so you can get more rounds off. And then the super light 90 stock. Now, obviously... The charge barrel got a uh, nerf because penetration got fixed with this gun where you were able to just kind of charge it up and just like take someone out through a wall, which is kind of crazy. Um, but you can go for the charge barrel if you want even more bullet velocity at full range, makes kind of hit scan. Uh, but the heavy ton barrel, nice and easy if you don't want to use the charge mechanic. Um, same set. But then we'll move on to our next now. This class setup actually can change quite a bit depending on what you feel like. You can get rid of the Bruin Heavy Support Grip and then add the brand new Jack Cutthroat Ops uh, stock if you want a bit more of a mobile assault rifle. Um, great for Rebirth Island, but if you want a long distance AR with high fire rate, then you can just kind of use this build. And as you can see, super easy, still pretty mobile. Doesn't do as much damage, but it's definitely a friendly weapon to use so if you don't have the best aim or accuracy go ahead use this higher fire rate than like the holger so it gives you a bigger margin for error and rebirth it's gonna do really well for you spirit fire suppressor mtz drifter heavy long barrel the bruin heavy support grip 50 round mag and then that jack glassless optic um, and then i pair that with the striker nine which if you don't like the hrm the striker nine is what you want to be using sem compensated flash hider striker recon long barrel dr6 hands up 50 round drum and then the striker factory stock this is really high rate of fire. So once again, I, I like the iron sight. Great mobility. Get your kill. Get out. Um, really nice SMG to use. I'd definitely go for the Striker 9 over the regular Striker, even though they did make some improvements to the Striker this week as well. Striker 9 still on top. Now, my final loadout is the Ram setup. Now, the Ram 7 is still used by a lot of players all around the world when it comes to ranked play. Like FIFA Kill, who is currently number one in ranked play, swears by the Ram 7. This is what he uses. It's got the Casus Break, the Cronin Headwood Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support, the 60 Round Drum, and then the HVS 3.4 Pad. There were some builds going around towards the end of Season 2 where you would use high velocity rounds, but you really need the extra recoil and gun kick control that the HVS uh, does since they nerfed it a bit. Uh, and then I used the Ram 9 SMG as well. This did get a nerf this week, but it's not too significant. It's still a very, very good SMG to be using, though I'd still recommend using like the MCW or the HRM over this. Got Zeb Compensate Flash Shutter, DR6 Handstop, 9mm high grain rounds, the 50 round mag, and the Hunker 5 stock pad. But I also just want to give one gun a kind of a shout out because I love this personally, and it reminds me of my days in Verdansk. It's the Bruin, right? You've got to give this a go if you haven't. Cases break, 23-inch uh, XRK Horizon V2. Bruin Heavy Support, 60-round mag, Jack Glassless. Um, best LMG in the game still available. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you've got any other class setups. Subscribe to new. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.